So the great Bill Walsh, all right, the great Bill Walsh, man, who everybody calls a genius and everybody respects, West has the face, has the famous, uh, you know, phrase, it's better to trade a player a year early than a year late. All right, that's Bill Walsh's words, right? Yeah. And we all have a lot of respect for Bill Walsh, and we all think like he, he knows what he's talking about, right? So why, when it actually comes time to making the decision on a guy a year early or year late, people are still scared to do it? I don't like, I, I get it's hard to do. He's saying it's really hard to do it, but I would rather get rid of a guy a year early than a year late. So, it, he, it, so okay, so I'm going to now extrapolate yeah. that, and I want to know what Warrior fans think. If the Warriors, let's say Wiggins comes back. I'm going to go worst case this scenario. Okay. Wiggins comes back, Peyton comes back. They lose in the first round. All right, they lose in the first round. Right. What are you going to do? Like, are you gonna are you gonna bring Steph, Clay, and Draymond back? If I Draymond th- says, you know what, I'm opting in for my last year, so I'm gonna play one more year here. So you bring those three okay, back. Gotcha. Wiggins, Pool, Looney. All right. Hey, we got our six. We're gonna run it back again. I, like, I is, don't are, feel are like, you gonna do that? Uh, yes. And let me just tell you something, Stanley. Wow. What else can you do? Now well, you, you can could, move yeah. one of the big okay. three, or you can move I'm assuming. Poole, or you can try to move Wiggins, or you can try to do something so that you won't. Like, to me, if you, you can't bring back the same team if it doesn't end well this year. To me, that would be kind of the definition of insanity. But I, I get it. What what else are you gonna do? Right. Well, and, okay. You're yeah. gonna trade Draymond or Clay. All I'm saying is, and I'm not advocating yeah, for I got it. You started, what but- I'm saying is, if Bill Walsh says it's better to get rid of a guy one year too early than one year too late, and we all agree that's a great strategy, but it's challenging, and you got to be t- like, if the Warriors don't go anywhere this year, why wouldn't you think of trading Draymond or Clay? Well, there's seriously there's fault. I'm, I'm okay. Gonna, I tell you what. I, and I keep going and bringing this guy's name up, but I mean it. David West. And David West basically gave the Warriors culture the biggest compliment ever about what the team was dealing with that didn't get out. Now, things have changed. And if you're right, let's say they lose in the play-in or they lose first round and it's ugly, we may see stuff come out, finger-pointing to where the hand right, like Dre says, on the wall, and he may be like, get me out of here. My thing to you is, is Joe Lakeup taking into account Wiggins' absence? Not what they were before Wiggins went out, but when it was go time, what they didn't have at their disposal. Two, you just gave Wiggins his bread. You just gave Poole his money. My thing is, and what I'm hearing that bothers me, and I'm going to get to Bill Walsh in one second, is you cannot tell me these guys don't like playing with each other. I, Who, I like I'm hearing wait, so much. So of, you don't you don't think there's anything to pool? I'm sorry, you don't think there's anything to Steph, Dre, and Clay not being into pool? Well, it's not a marriage in the sense that if they're not, so you're into fighting them, against it. Like people say, yeah, they they clearly don't like him. You're like that's not the case. No, no, I I think they they basketball like him. He probably gets on their nerves. But they could have prevented Poole from getting his money in the offseason if they thought he was close to getting the bag when Dre was like, he's going to be a factor. My uh, thing is, Stiney, you, know, I'm, I'm, you have rubbed off on me. It's attrition. Guys are slowing down more than it is. I don't like Poole, so this is what we're going to be on the road. I don't think that's that has enough gravity to where that's the reason. Now, you could trade Poole. You could trade Kaminga. I'm saying if this thing gets ugly and they get bounced, everything's on the table. And about the great Bill Walsh, Steiny, that was Bill. But what if you have this run that the Warriors are so currently in? So Bill Walsh in? didn't have a run? No, I'm just saying he might have been so cold tr- that he didn't That's care. Right. But, but the, we saw the Giants where they right. gave contracts for kind right. of what you how, did how for How did that us. work out? It didn't. Right. But, every, oh, but uh, hey... But you would do it anyway, knowing but, you're making a mistake. But you, I'm looking at you right now. Seriously. No matter what happens, I'll take worst-case scenario. 
I don't see a scenario to where Clay Thompson's moved. Like, I don't think Clay, Dre, and Steph are 80% of what ails you. So I think because of what they mean to the fan base, Joe Lakeup and Joe handed out money that we thought he wouldn't hand out to Wiggins and Poole. Well, he didn't hand it out to Peyton. Well, you're and right. he traded Wiseman to save money. And I think he thought his team was better that they could, you know, they could, like, cover that up. And to come to find out, they couldn't. 888-957-9570 is the number. We're talking about the Golden State Warriors. A lot on the table right now. And the one thing that struck me as I was driving in today was what Bill Walsh said, the former 49er coach, about it's better to, to trade a player a uh, year early than a year late. And I'm thinking about the Warriors' season. And obviously, if they get to the Western Conference Finals or they make a run in the playoffs, that's not what I'm essentially talking about. But what I am talking about is this team's 500, and they're one little four or five game losing streak away Man. from missing the playoffs entirely or getting into the play in game. And I just want to know why, you know, if we all acknowledge it's better to trade a guy a year early, the bottom line still is everybody's afraid to do it. We, nobody still does it, even though even though it's a strategy that we seem to have signed off on. And so all I'm saying is if if the Warriors get knocked out early this year, I, I'm not running it back. I'm trying to move. I'm, I, I don't know who I'm trying to move, but I'm listening to everything. And if something comes up with Clay and, Clay and or Draymond that makes sense, yes, I'm doing it. Wow. Because... Like, to me, we ran it back last year. We won it. We made no changes, essentially, except to a few role players. We ran it back, and it's been a disaster. It started out with Draymond punching a guy. So my, my feeling, if you go, 30, you go 42 and 40 and lose in the first round in five games, oh, stuff, you can't. Yeah. I mean, That's but, ugly. You're going you're gonna to bring the top six guys back again and say, let's, let's try it again. I, I'm sorry. I I have to. Okay. I have to address that six man core. But I'll say this: there's only two people that meet that criteria in regard to the Bill Walsh. You trade him a year too soon, and that's Clay and Dre. Right. Okay. I get that. I just I think if it ends 42 and 40 and they get bounced, I think Dre is at. I think he wants out of here. That's just me. I could be totally wrong, but Clay Stiney, I'm sorry to watch. What where he's at right now and him get through the dark valleys and I know here again to the people out there, he ain't two thousand and nineteen clay. I think he has a sentimental, emotional thing that he he won't get moved. It would be one of the young pieces, Kaminga or Jordan Poole, because watching Steph Curry right now and where he's at in that game in LA, he, Stein, he's got a lot in the tank left. So if I'm Lake up Maybe he's saying I don't. Everything's on the table for me to get immediate help and better pieces. And some of me does wonder if the the loony Dre dynamic of I'm not looking to get my shot. I'm gonna get the rebound. I'm talking about loony. Kick it back out. If now we're talking about an older core, maybe they need somebody that can put the ball in the basket between the two. And I'm wondering if that's kind of ran its course. But I can't get that answer until 22 comes back. And I just wonder if Joe Lacob is saying, you know what, Stoddy? I didn't tell anybody this. That punch ruined us. Why, like, why do we need to see Wiggins kind of come back? Like, we kind of know exactly what he does. We know he's going to help. But he covered up for so right, many no, other no, he's weaknesses. Gonna help. That he's going to help. Is he going to help? Then I feel like if title? you make a decision without him, it's kind of like foolish because he's such a big component to what you do. They've played half the year with him, and they've been a 500 team. I'm listen. My I'm playing devil's advocate right now. I get I'm not what you're advocating saying, though, anything. I don't know anything. Uh, I'm, there you go. There's a cut the for you. Is Madoni. But the only thing I'm saying is, let's look at the two ways you could look at this. Let's say Poole and Peyton don't come back. Okay, and you get bounced early. Well, yes. Then I think there's. I mean, while I still probably wouldn't do it, okay, because I've seen enough. If that were to happen, then I guess you do bring everybody back and say, well, that was just a bad year. 
and Wiggins, you know, had personal issues and Draymond and Poole. This, yeah. but, but but now we're a year older, and we're going to go through a regular season again. And I I don't know. I think that to me is kind of pie in the sky. It's interesting that you say you've seen enough when yet, Stani, without Wiggins, they still yet to stink in a playoff game. So that that's all I'm. I'm so, a, I'm but I've watched the them all year. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So does the punch not mean anything? Like, do you do you think there's no uh, internal uh, riff? Yeah. So do you think do you think this team's got great chemistry now? I don't. So that's another reason why I don't bring back a team that I know doesn't have good chemistry. Well, then if you're if, if that if you're right, this is assuming okay. they get bounced. If thoroughly, you're right, obviously. Poole and Dre got to be broken up then. Because that's essentially okay. where, where it's rotted at. So you got to do something. And I know Jordan Poole as much. Sonny, I'm, I got to be cool here. I, I, I've been too hard on him. And you pointed out, and I was driving to the airport listening to you and J.D., you pointed out he's the only one that has his role change on a daily basis. And I'm sitting there thinking, you know, I haven't, I haven't even tapped into that. To 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 to, to kind of look at him and his thought process and the embarrassment from the punches, but it's a grown man sport. He hasn't said anything that has that that would lead you to believe he needs to be moved. Dre has said that. So I and I'm gonna ask you this: What type of defense is Dre playing now? I'm not coming down this road. Mm, He's taking not. the ball out of the dudes are scoring on oh. the Warriors. 